And behind the big toad is what we all have, this muscle here. In the big foot footprint, I've seen this several times, there's something that might be a second muscle. There's a bridge here, as it's evolved. Something that's not found in the human foot. Not all I can show you about it. subscribing and leaving comments.
many of you know the story of Ishi and the Ishi family, the Indians who um, hid in the forest east of Red Bluff um, across the turn of the century, and eventually little down to one member came walked into town and were picked up by the authorities. That family left out there for about 10 years after the whole tribe had been decimated and shot out by the one step of the one of the one of the one of the one But they did the same thing. They would light their fires at night, cook at night, and fire was out on the morning. And uh, they left no footprints, and they always went to the toilet in the street. So it's an interesting theory. Yes? Do you have any theories for what happens to the dead? Um, not really sound theory, it's speculation. When something dies in, in, in the mountains here, it's eaten by other animals. That's, that's the natural garbage disposal system out there, if you like. And it's very effective. The principal garbage man is the black bear. A bear can pick up the scent of the decay carcass and probably quarter of a mile away, even more, to the wind is right. And it will just foam right in on it. And it doesn't matter how far the decay has taken place. Um, uh, bears will eat just about anything. And uh, something like a big foot weighing two or three hundred pounds, probably gone in a couple of days. When I was very young, this is back in the 30s, there was a movie called The Elephant's Graveyard, and it was a marvelous movie, and it was about a place in Africa where all the elephants went to die. And if you could find this valley where they went to die, it was ten feet deep and high, because you could make a fortune out of the elephants in the movie. But the, there was a theory there across the turn of the century about a place where the elephants went to die because nobody ever found a dead elephant. And what happens with an elephant fish? You have an animal that weighs 12, 14, 16,000 pounds, eight times. It dies. In one day, vultures will strip it right down with nothing but the bones. And you have nothing but the skeleton. And hundreds of thousands of feet are eaten by hundreds of vultures in one day. I'm talking about 12 hours. In the night come jackals. They take all the small bones and with them come the hyena. And the hyena eat raw bones. They will take an elephant's leg bone, which is 10 inches across, and they just chop that up and break it. Whenever you find their feces, the feces are all uh, white with calcium full of these chunks of bones. So the hyena is the animal which eats the bones. The next morning, there's nothing left but the teeth and the toenails and the ivory. And those are eaten by porcupines, porcupines, ivory, teeth and toenails. So in 72 hours, you have a black patch on the ground where there was an eight ton animal. It's completely disappeared except for a few insects. Same thing could happen to that same question in the Northwest. Another theory of course is they might bury the dead. You know, uh, oh, something that the great had never been to. What do you think about ideas that might be related to the gigantic Pentecus? I think that's a good theory. It's a possibility. The animal is a creature called the gigantic Pentecus which is a large primate found in China, which died out of Britain, which went wrong about 12,000 years ago, or something like that. Not too much, is that right? Longer than that? Oh. 100,000. Which in the course of long time is not too much. Right? So, but it wasn't a bird, it was an actual animal. It stood upright, it was probably seven, maybe eight feet tall. It was a huge primate. The uh, discovery began with by a scientist called, uh, a Dutchman called Hong Kong, he was well, probably in the 30s. He found some teeth. Chinese are still digging in the same area today. They found over a thousand teeth parts of the skull. Is that giant? Is that Bigfoot? Did that creature come across the Bering Straits with the Indians <coughs> many thousand years ago? It's a theory, nothing more. They've also found a large orangutan teeth in the same area. Hey, I don't know. What's your question? Uh, well, you, you have a uh, pretty good uh, knowledge of what a reported Sasquatch track looks like in Africa. Also, I like to comment on what the opposite of the
one finger off his hand and placed it with a human finger. And the hand was still a piece of it. Somebody still almost been there there 100 years, 200 years. I heard it, I saw somebody in the picture and still, it was not me. I was here. <laughs> we, we sent a finger down to Dr. Hill, and um, the eventual analysis of that was it's not a human finger. That's all. A very brief analysis from him. Um, he was at Hebrew University at the time. And there he took that to London. I don't know what happened to him eventually, but it was not a human figure. It was a primate figure at the time. Now, I'm going to hand over to uh, Dr. Pyle down the back. Thank you very much. this rare and unique content. Please show your support by subscribing and leaving comments.